Welcome back, everybody, and we are going to take a look at all of my max out Pokemon. Um, I counted about 45 or so. Uh, we'll, we're going to go cover all of them, uh, but not including the ones that are just about maxed out that just need one more power up. So if I included all of those, it would be like 70. And I'm not talking about the Pokemon that I powered up once or a few times. Like, they just need two more times to be maxed out. Uh, let me give you an example. Um, something that's just been hanging out for a while that needs one more power up for sure is Renaissance Charizard. And Hydroponic. I don't know why I never maxed out Hydroponic. Maybe because I just, the CP was so low, but that doesn't make sense because I've maxed out Pokemon that are much lower than that. Or... Yeah, technically. Okay, so shall we start? Start with the top one, obviously. Tyranitar. So, there's quite a few, so I'm going to kind of just brush through this, okay, guys? So, this one is maxed out, maxed it out. Eh, eh a little while ago. Pretty good, pretty good. Bite and Crunch. Alright, another Tyranitar, maxed out. Bite and Crunch again. Preparing myself for Mewtwo with those. Otherwise, they would have Stone Edge, or at least one of them would, because that's a very nice move. Tetsuya, maxed out. Very nice. Lugia. Yep, you guys already know. And I have a 98 that's ready to be maxed out sometime soon, and that needs a star for whatever reason it didn't have it. Wow. Bad bug, right? All right, so a knight. Good old knight's been maxed out since the get-go. Look at that. Over a year I've had this one. Old trusty. Then we have Raikou. And I am really liking this one. Very nice asset to the team, for sure. Uh, I recommend you max one out, or power one up at least. Because they are the best electric type attacker in the game currently. Snorlax. I just maxed it out because it's just a, it was a good IV Snorlax. It's always nice to have one of those. Back in the day, sat at the top of the gyms, you know, all that good stuff. Plus, it's just a decent defender. I switched Lick because I was getting ready for um, Mewtwo once again. I think this will be my anchor. Maybe. Uh, somebody was asking me what is the best counter for Mewtwo if it has Focus Blast. And that, my friend, is going to be Gyarados. We'll get there in just a second. Okay, Zapdos, maxed out. Very nice. So, <laughs> technically, with all these maxed out and powered up Pokemon, I, if I just saved my Stardust, I would have had well over 20 million Stardust. So, that's keeping that in mind. Alright, and currently have quite a bit of Stardust, considering um, where I live. Alright, so, right on. This one is maxed out. It's just the three power up glitch I did back in the day just to try it out. And it stuck like that. <laughs> Alright, so here you go. This would be your best counter from Mewtwo if it had Focus Blast. Uh, this is going to be a good Pokemon to use, period, if it has Focus Blast or not. So... Keep that in mind, my friends. Okay. Alright, that's another one to the list. Moltres. Alright. You know what it is. I had to max this out. Valor. Plus, it's just one of the highest DPS Pokemon in the game currently. So, very nice. And uh, I enjoy it. It helps me take care of a lot of raid bosses. Uh, if I had trouble. But, um, yeah. like that one. Another maxed out right on. Rhino Wreck. Unfortunately, a lot of these I maxed out, and then I started getting 100s, so, well, I was half the weight. I have a 100 right on, but I'm not maxing that out anytime soon. Uh, Blissey. Oh, yeah, you need, a, you need a, a Blissey or two, for sure, on your team. Just one of those Pokemon that are just, you know, it's the best gym defender currently at the moment because it takes so long to take it out. And uh, if you're sitting there feeding berries, I mean, it's going to do work on the enemy so another maxed out blissey very nice and the ideal move set for 
uh, defense is Zen Headbutt and Dazzling Gleam. Uh, personally, I'm pretty sure that's one of the best sets because it's super effective towards everything. Well, at least towards fighting, which it's weak against fighting, so it's going to be super effective against it. So, beautiful. Dawn Fan. Nice counter and earthquake. Like this set. Um, although, the best defense set would probably be ru play rough. So, keep that in mind. Any defense set is going to have, it should be three or two charge bars. Uh, so that, that would just be your ideal because it's continuously happening. When they only have one, it's just going to be easy to dodge. See ya, dodge, and then attack. You have nothing to worry about until the next one comes. Alrighty. Espeon, very nice. Maxed out. Confusion Future Sight, beautiful attacker. Glass Cannon, but that doesn't really matter. This thing is extremely, extreme, extremely useful uh, when it comes to taking out raids. Soloing them personally. Flareon maxed this one out a long time ago. 100. Look at that. Over a year. Yep. It's my buddy right there. Dino Stone Golem. Maxed it out. I think I'm going to change Rock or Earthquake back to Stone Edge. Actually, I don't think I'm going to because Stone Edge is much better. I just did that for Raikou. Earthquake is just too slow, personally. Um, Exeggutor, maxed this one a while back. Very nice. Extrasensory Solar Beam. Alright. Articuno. You know what it is. Maxed out these legendaries. And we're going to keep maxing them out as we get them. I need to change Blizzard to Ice Beam. Um, just because, you know, I can't drop them in a gym, but I just feel like that's going to be better at this point. Terracotta. Alright. Play army. <laughs> Rock throw and stone edge. It's always nice to have a couple golems that are powered up there. Um, Machamp, maxed out. I One of my favorite fighting types. One of my favorite Pokemon. Counter dynamic punch. Counter dynamic punch. Another maxed out one here. And counter cross chop. Sparky Joy. No, it's a female. So I, I got that right, Sparky. I didn't want to put that name like on this one, for instance, so. I would make you this top one. Oh, oh, it's a female. I might have, I'm going to, I'm going to change this one. We'll change this one. We'll, we'll do that later. Okay, Spark. I got, I got your back. We're going to make this one Sparky Joy and this one will be Rage Cage. All right. Perfect. Shout out to Sparky Joy. And I have to say something. Um, I made a video you know, saying that I never got shout out by bigger channels and um, I'll make it on my own and all that, which I will. But I, I got to give her, her a little credit because she shouts me out all the time. So shout out to you, Sparky Joy. She's one of the best Pokemon Go live streamers. Very energetic, very kind, uh, n very lovely to listen to. Just all around good person and um, just joyful. <laughs> so... Shout out to you, Sparky, and thank you. I appreciate everything you've done for me. On to Alakazam. Confusion and Future Sight. All right. I like it. I don't like it. I love it. <laughs> Alakazam. I would walk with this thing if um, I just didn't need candies for alligator. All right. Not maxed out, but it's close. I didn't even power it up. That's just what it was when it evolved. All right. So now I'm going to probably have to back out and start going to pick them because they're not all maxed out at this point. Another maxed out Alakazam. Psycho Cut and Shadow Ball. Very nice. And somebody's asking me, is Dazzling Gleam a legacy on Alakazam? Absolutely. Keep it. Do not remove it. Alright? I mean, if you want to, you go for it. But uh, Dazzling Gleam does 100. That's a nice move. Alright? So keep that in mind. And it's still super effective to fighting. So And plus Dragon. So that's a plus side. Um, Arcade Pet, you guys. A fan favorite here. Um, RK9, Fire Fang and Fire Blast. I don't think you can get Flamethrower anymore. I might, that might be a legacy move. I don't know. I'm gonna have to check. But I need to change that, if I can, to a double attacker and move. I was thinking I might even change this one to, um, what is that, Electro? Or, um, dang, I can't believe I'm forgetting what that is called. A wild charge. Pfft, wow. 
Long day, guys. Sorry. Rough day. Wacky day, to be honest. Um, Metal Gear. Yep. Caesar. Really like this one. Furry Cutter and X Scissor. Worth it. Worth every bit of Stardust. Alright, so now I'm at the back out because not everything is maxed out and I'm going to have to select the ones now. Alright. I'm just going to show you this. Trigger just needs like one or two more power ups. So. Uh, he's one of those Pokemon that I just did not finish at it for whatever reason. Ampharos! If his sprite will load, is maxed out. There we go. All the way maxed. Very nice. Volt Switch and Zap Cannon. Loving this. Um, think I'm going to have to switch it up. The, um, Zap Cannon for the, I think it learns, like, Play Rough, maybe? Oh, no, 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 it doesn't. It learns Zap Cannon, Focus Blast, and... It's like thunder so unfortunately it doesn't learn a double charge move or triple or anything like that maybe well not maybe but in the future it will I would assume so so uh, we'll have to switch that up I feel like he's a decent defender if you had one of those Falu muck all right walk with this one for a minute as you guys know uh, poison jab and dark pulse dark pulse is the ideal defense set um, so if somebody's using Psychic against you, you're going to hit them hard. Um, and they're going to be super effective to you, but at the same time, BAM! If they get hit by Dark Pulse, it's going to do some damage to them. So, very good, nice defense. Uh, Lizardon, alright, yes. Walked with this one for... No, I didn't walk with this one at all, that's surprising. I, w I walked with several Charizards, but I guess not this one. That's odd. Very nice. Um... Fire or flamethrower is a legacy move now, so if you have one of those, keep it. That is the ideal defender set, I would think. Um, I removed mine a long time ago. I still have one Renaissance. We'll see here in a second. Let's back out, and he's right over here. He's the one I need to just do one more power up there. Um, I'm not going to do that glitch because I don't, you know, that's just I'm going to play clean and wait until we can power them up some more um, whenever Niantic releases like the next power up phase if we get new levels or whatever because these Pokemon these aren't the CP that are set we're gonna be able to power them up some more I do believe so flamethrower and ember uh, very nice Gengar maxed it maxed it a long time ago love it um, I, I would personally say it's a must-have for your team not to be maxed out but a nice powered up one because these things deal damage like crazy and they can get the job done seriously if you dodge enough yeah these these things can do some serious work all right and now lapras very nice defender frost breath and ice beam i do believe that is the ideal defense set like it and uh happy the only bad thing is wow it's just not starred okay weird uh, the only bad thing is they nerfed the heck out of it before it was so nice. It's still good, but now it's just the CP is not as high, unfortunately. Um, so let's move on to the next one, Digital Duck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Porygon 2, we're just going to have to wait for Porygon Z for in Gen 4. And now that's going to be one beast of an attacker. I have a feeling if you get Hyper Beam, which it would be odd if it couldn't learn Hyper Beam, that's going to that's gonna be the one you want. And uh, whatever first quick attack you can learn. Wow. But Porygon Z is notorious for high special attack. So it should be able to be doing massive damage with that Hyper Beam when it eventually comes out. So very nice. Porygon 2. Another maxed out Gengar Dimension. Shadow Claw and Shadow Ball. Love that set. Not going to change it. I'm going to keep it for good. Unless some weird, crazy, better moveset comes out. But we'll have to wait and see about that. Alright. Another maxed out is Venusaur. Vine Whip and Solar Beam. And, uh... Always been with me for a while. Yeah. Always been helping me out. Very nice. And looks like I can just swipe to the side for the next one. Uh, Slow King. Very cool. 100% IVs on this one. Confusion and... Blizzard. You might want Fire Blast if we ever get PvP, uh, because if they switch it up to water, or I mean to grass, 
and you have that fire blast. Boom, boy. Goodbye. All right, so there's that. And we have Houndoom, Snarl, and Foul Play. Not bad. Like this Pokemon a lot, to be honest with you. A whole lot. Looks cool. Underrated. Lower CP, so it's not super, like, you know, beefed up, powered up. And it's a little, you know, it'll. you have to be a little bit more skilled to use it, technically, if you're trying to do, do raid bosses, like um, Exeggutor or something. Uh, see if you can beat an an Exeggutor with just one Houndoom. Challenge you to that. A raid boss, that is. Alright, so now we're going to have to start skipping over. We have the 100%. Oh, <laughs> not 100%. We have a Steelix that's maxed out. And very good defender. Can take quite a few hits. Unless it's getting hit by fire. Which still, even then, it could take pretty decent hits. Um, like this one. Like throwing it in a gym. Because it takes a it takes a minute to take it out. Just like kind of like Bliss Blissey is. Polyrath, maxed out. Bubble and Hydro Pump. Had this one maxed out for a while now. Um, pretty cool. Used it for quite a few things. Uh, helped me back in the day. I used it you know, once in a while, actually. Um, it could take a pretty good amount of hits. I think I I have a uh, Dynamic Punch one. I'm pretty sure that would be more of an ideal defense set. And uh, Kingdra, which I named Queendra because it's a female. Very nice. Uh, sad story. 2370 CP. Yeah, that's pretty weak. Um, it's It has pretty nice defense, okay? And it can dish out damage. It can do its thing. You've seen me use it. I can run through a whole gym with one, basically, if I dodge. Um, back in the day with level 10 gyms, this thing was taking out Dragonites for me with its eyes closed. Okay, so not bad. Very cool. Uh, Kingdra is a neat Pokemon. Looks looks awesome. When it first came out, I was just like, uh, didn't know what to think of it. But then I was like, you know what? No, no, no. This thing is all right. I like it. But I, to, <laughs> just going to be honest here, I thought it was hideous when I first seen it when I was younger. But um, it's grown on me, and I do not think that. Not one bit anymore. It looks amazing. And it also says, hi. Look at that. Hi on the side of it. <laughs> All right, so now we have Sonara, uh, Crobat. Uh, it's not maxed out, but it's getting there. All right, so we're not gonna we're gonna focus on the maxed out ones. All right, Kingdra or um, Nido King. Sorry, <laughs> all these kings. The Nido King here, Poison Jab, Sludge Waves. I've changed the moves around quite a bit. At first, I had Iron Tail, Sludge Wave. I switched it up to Poison Jab. Oh man, I really like that. Super quick. Charges up your charge move fast. Um, then I went back from Earthquake to Sludge Wave and then back to Earthquake and now back to Sludge Wave and I'm convinced I'm sticking with Sludge Wave for sure. Unless you can learn some new moves down the road that are that's going to benefit it even better. But we'll just have to wait and see. Alright, so I'm going to show you the tentacruel but we're gonna look at this one first uh, starmie and very cool very nice pokemon this one right here has done a lot of work for me back in the day super fast nice to dodge high dps and it's just uh you know put in work i refused to power up a vaporeon in place this was my vaporeon and i'm happy that i did that um you guys really enjoyed those fights back in the day unfortunately those those gym battles are not intense like they used to be and the potential of a pokemon cannot be fully fulfilled anymore um so that sucks but that's all right still good investment for back in the day now this one right here just needs a couple more power-ups it's not maxed out but I, I need to get to it I, I don't know why i haven't i just figured eh, that's good enough i don't think it was going to reach 23 so I kind of just stopped. OG Kush, Victory Bell, 100% IV. Now this right here is a nice Pokemon to drop in a gym. Razor Leaf and Leaf Blade. Are you serious? Now that thing does some nice damage, gets jobs, gets the job done, defends the gym, hits the enemy where it hurts on a continuous level. 
and I recommend you power one up. Max it out? Nah, you not necessarily. But um, if you want to throw one in a gym, Razor Leaf and Rate uh, Leaf Blade is ideal. Uh, with Solar Beam on this, ooh, you better look out. I think that's this is one of the highest, like almost rival to Executor. The only thing is Executor CP is going to be higher, but this thing does so much damage with Solar Beam. Maybe because Solar Beam is just the best, one of the best attacks of the game. All right, so Hydroponic, yep. Just need a few more power-ups, not max, but almost there. All right, so now this is where it's going to start getting kind of dry. Um, I think we have like a few more here. Uh, this one needs a couple more, and then it's going to be maxed out. And I'm skipping a few that I that are I've been powering up. I just I'm not going to go over those right now. We'll go ahead and look at him though. Um, has quite a bit more space for powering up. I just wanted to reach 2,000, and I did. Very nice. All right, here we go. Is another maxed out one. Uh, Hitmonchan, Maggie, been with me for a while. Has put in a lot of work, taking out many Blissies, Snorlax, and any uh, other thing that gets in its way. To be honest, Rock Smash and Brick Break. Nothing more to say. Hitmonchan, look out! It's gonna punch you. <laughs> All right, Maui Kaui needs a couple more power ups. Almost there. I just decided not to. I just wanted to reach that 2,000 threshold, and I did. Um, this is not a maxed out one, but this is another powered up highly one. Uh, I was, I started powering up again, but the only problem was that it, uh, it, it was going up by like 12 or it was like 20, maybe very low. So I was like, okay, we'll pass on that for now and keep on going. My for alligator, it's not really up there at all. And let's see, a whole bunch amongst all these that I've powered up, okay, but we're just going to focus on the maxed ones, because if I looked at all these, it would take for forever, but let's see here. Umbreon, see, it needs about four more power-ups or something like that, and it'll be maxed out. I just don't want to invest the Stardust at the moment. I'm trying to collect that dust, you know what I mean? And there's no real point to be maxing them out so much after a thir certain threshold uh, anymore because the gems are not that great. Unless you wanted to use them for soloing some sort of raid boss, then that's about it. But you literally don't need strong Pokemon to take gems out. Ever. Alright, so I think we're reaching the end here. Yeah, I think we have... Ah, uh, I powered him up, but it's not close to max. Powered this up. It's not even close either. Uh, the only one left, I do believe, is Mr. Biggs. Persian. Uh, I remember when I powered this up. It was like 19 or 21. No joke. CP. Uh, 1900 or 2100. And then literally, actually, seriously... The next day, Niantic nerfs it. Are you joking? It just nerfed it. Like, that was the Lapras nerf, and then the boost for other Pokemon, like Alakazam. They went up and all that, and Gengar right on, and a few others. But this one went down. I was like, are you serious? I just spent $200,000. $200,000. Do $100,000 Stardust, and uh, now it's just fifteen. dollars Are you joking me? Seriously? Woo! I am. This is like a, a serious prize for me right here. I like Persian a whole lot. It represents Team Rocket to me, to be honest. Giovanni and all that stuff. Um, so I'm all about Team Rocket. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I I really enjoy this Pokemon. I want to walk with it as my partner. But there's no real. There's just no real like benefit to be honest. I could get Meowth candies, but then what? So, anyways, uh, I do believe that's about it, Mr. Green. No, oh, no, that's about it. Yeah, I've powered up. What is it? No, it was a, a sand slash, but uh, that's about it. All right, let's just take a look at a few more here. Oh yeah, that girl. I didn't really power that up too much. I think that's about it, guys. Yeah, 
there's definitely a Pokemon amongst these that I've powered up, but not maxed out. So there you have it. There is my list of Pokemon that I've maxed out. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and I will be keeping you posted on any sort of news that happens. Uh, the game just got an update. I don't know what the data mine is going to look like, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. And um, yeah, no exclusive raid pass yet. And a whole bunch of people are going to do their Mewtwo raid in New York today. Um, and so good luck. I hope you guys catch it. And um, yeah, with that said, hopefully we get her soon. Somebody said that they think that Mewtwo is going to be more abundant for everybody around Halloween. To be honest, I think that's way too long. Um, I think they're going to be rolling it out to everybody, well, to more people soon. So we'll just have to wait and see. All right. And on that note, thank you for watching, everybody. I'll catch you later. And uh, seriously support. Um, I really appreciate the support you guys give me and all that good stuff. So take care and thank you for watching.